from Wauwatosa to the American Ninja Warrior. Twin brothers made their national debut last night, taking on the famous obstacle course. New at 10, Rebecca Clough went to their gym in Tosa to see how they train. They call themselves the Twinjas. These guys went from track stars at Tosa East to ninjas representing Wisconsin on NBC. And it was double vision. Marquez and Nathan Green looked for a big win last night on American Ninja Warrior. The 21 year old twins are at UW Madison now, but graduated from Tosa East. Yes, we lived with our mom in Madison, and when she passed away from breast cancer, we had to come to Wauwatosa to live with our grandma and finish off the rest of our high schooling. So she was their motivation to compete on America Ninja Warrior. Nathan said that's what hurt most about falling on the second obstacle. My first like reaction was like I let my family down, like I let my mom down, and I was really sad and upset. But the story doesn't end there. The I duo ended up on America Ninja right. Warrior after trying to get a walk on spot a year ago. Marquez and Nathan didn't make it, but they did meet the owner of Legacy Gym in Tosa. The twins told her they had no experience, but wanted to become Ninja Warriors. So she helped them train get it, get it. and master the warp wall. Yeah. These guys make it look easy, but running the warp wall is anything but. Climbing that wall brought Marquez through the qualifying competition into the next round, the city finals. Seeing him finish really, I mean, of course I was jealous, but <laughs> I was happy for him, yeah. Hitting the buzzer was just an experience that I, I'll never forget. It was awesome. Reporting in Wauwatosa, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. And you can follow Marquez's journey on American Ninja Warrior right here on today's TMJ4. New episodes air every Monday night at seven and we are what can we say, say about Rebecca Clough okay. that has not been said before she'll try anything once she was not hurt but no, I, she it was, was fun to watch her